Welcome to Artma the Infinite Art and today we are learning the magic wand tool in Photoshop. This is the fourth part of the selection tools in Photoshop series. Links of the other parts are in the description. The magic wand tool is located here. Its shortcut is W. The magic wand tool samples the pixel which is clicked and then matches it with similar pixels in the image and then selects them. With this create a new selection option selected, I can start making a new selection. But before that, I'll have to select the layer of the image as well. Now you will see if I click at this point of this yellow region, the whole yellow region will be selected. So what it did was sample the yellow pixel on which the tool was clicked and then matched it with the other yellow pixels in the image and selected them. But you can say what about the yellow pixels on the right? They are not selected. Well, we'll come to that in a moment. You can also move your selection. Select the yellow region and then press the up, down, left, right arrow keys of your keyboard to move it. You can also keep holding the shift key along with those arrow keys to have greater increments of movement. The other way around is that when you move the tool inside the selection, you will see that the tool cursor changes. You can now drag and move the selection anywhere you like. Now if you want to add this blue region into the selection, you'll have to go to the add to selection option and select it. Now if I click at any point on this blue region, the entire blue region will be selected and added to the previous selection. Again about the blue region it didn't select on the right, we'll talk about in a moment. Now you might want to exclude this yellow region from the selection. For that you'll have to go to subtract from selection option. And then I'll click on this yellow region and it will subtract the portion from the selection. Now if you want to deselect the selection, you can go to select, then deselect, shortcut is Control plus D. I like to talk about the shortcuts real quick. Right now the option is manually set to subtract from selection by clicking on it. At this point, if you want to toggle the option to add to selection option, you can keep holding the shift key on your keyboard. But as soon as you let go of the shift key on your keyboard, it bounces back to the subtraction option. So now if I manually click the add to selection option, I can toggle to the subtraction option by pressing and holding the alt key on my keyboard. It's a really very minor thing but I thought you should know. This is the intersect selection option. We already had this pick selection and now if I click and select this yellow region, Photoshop will detect the common region between the big selection and this new selection and make this common region the final selection. I personally don't find this option of much use but you can try it. To teach you the next option, sample size, I'll have to keep tolerance at zero. But you don't have to worry about that right now. Right now, sample size is set to point sample. What point sample does is that it samples just the pixel on which the tool has been clicked and then it matches similar pixels across the image and selects them. So if I click on this point of the blue region, you will see small snippets of selection selected, the portions of the image which have the same pixels as the point on which the tool was clicked. I can gradually increase the sampling area for the tool by going to 3x3 average or let's say 5x5 average. 3x3 three three means the magic wand tool samples the pixels which are within the range of 3x3 three three area of the clicked pixel. Let me show you. I will zoom in close to the image and show you the pixels with which the image is created. Now these boxes are what we call pixels. With sample size set to point sample, if I click on this pixel with the magic wand tool, 
it will sample just this pixel and match it with similar pixels on the image and select them. But if the sample size is set to 3 by 3 average, if I click on this pixel with the magic wand tool, all the 3 by 3 pixels around it will be sampled by the tool. So likewise, 5 by 5 average sample size samples all the 5 by 5 pixels lying around the clicked pixel. So this is basically what 5x5 five five or 3x3 three three means, but what does average mean? So in an image, the pixel that is clicked and the surrounding pixels may not have the same color. They may have different shades of the same color or may have different colors altogether. So what this average option will do is that it will take in account all these colors and then make an average and sample them and then they will match it with similar colors in the image and then select them. So with 5x5 five five average option selected, if I now try to make a selection, you will see that the selection will be much bigger because it will sample more pixels. We'll press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now if I select a bigger sample size area like 101 by 101 average, you will see that the selection will be even bigger. Next is Tolerance. Tolerance is how much brighter or darker shades of color that will be selected after you click on a particular pixel. So with Tolerance set to 0, if I click here, it will only select this strip of color because it will not tolerate any other color at tolerance 0. I'll press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now if I increase the tolerance to say 30, it will include greater range of both darker and brighter colors. I'll press Ctrl plus D again to deselect. Then I'll increase the tolerance this time to 50 and it will select even greater range of colors. Next we will discuss anti-alias. Alias means distorted or jagged edge. So anti-alias means a plain edge. So with anti-alias unchecked, if I select this blue region and then preview the selection by pressing Q, you will see the jagged edge. I will escape out of the preview mode by pressing Q again. With anti-alias checked, if I now make selection, the preview will give plain edge. I'll press Q to preview it. Next, we'll discuss the contiguous option. Think of contiguous as being continuous. With the contiguous option checked, if I now want to select the blue pixels of the image and then click here, only the blue pixels on the left side of the image will be selected. That is because only these blue pixels were found adjacent to one another in a continuous chain from the point the magic wand tool was clicked. Since that continuity is blocked by this pinkish region, the blue pixels on the right side were not selected. However, if you leave the contiguous option unchecked, you can also select colors which are not adjacent to one another. So if I click on the blue pixels on the left side, it will select the blue pixels on both the left and the right side of the image. Next is sample all layers. For this, I've used all the three images. I've shifted them a bit so that all of them are visible partially. Sample all layers unchecked means the magic wand tool doesn't want to sample and select pixels from all the layers. Instead, it just wants to select pixels from a single layer. For that, I've selected the man layer. Let me show you again what the man layer consists of. You can see that the right side is mostly empty or it doesn't contain any pixels. So with sample all layers unchecked, and the man layer selected, if I click on the right side of the canvas, you might think that this violet strip of pixels will be selected, but instead you will see this big box of selection, which basically means nothing has been selected since this portion of the layer contains nothing. 
I'll press Ctrl plus D to deselect. With sample all layers unchecked still, if I go to the portion of the man layer which contains some pixels and then click on this blue region, it will select the blue region. Now with the same man layer selected, if I check the sample all layers on and click on the same violet region as before, you will see that this time it will be selected. What it has essentially done is that it has also sampled the pixels of the gradient layer although just the man layer is selected. In other words, the magic wand tool is now sampling pixels from all layers. So you can see that if I click on any part of the canvas, it will always select some pixels from the different layers. I'll cover these two options in a separate video for they are huge topics on their own. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other parts of the selection tools in Photoshop series. Bye!